I've just updated Camera 3D Toolkit Pro to version 2.1 and today I'm going to walk you through all the new features that will completely transform your workflow in After Effects. If you already own the plugin, make sure you watch until the end. Some functions have been completely reworked. And if this is your first time discovering Camera 3D Toolkit Pro, you'll see why it's quickly becoming an essential tool for creating stunning 3D animations in just one click. To download the plugin, simply click the first link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. Screen. Even if you don't select any layers, Quick instantly configures your entire 3D scene with the optimal settings, creates a camera and a parent null, enables motion blur, switches your layers to 3D mode, and distributes them 1000 pixels apart on the Z axis for instant depth. The Quick button has been significantly improved with contextual intelligence. It now automatically detects your composition's render mode and adapts accordingly. For example, if your timeline is set to Advanced 3D or Cinema 4D, Quick will switch it back to Classic 3D before applying transformations. Why? Because depth of field only works properly in Classic 3D. This automatic detection removes a common source of frustration and errors. New in version 2.1, every time you click Quick, it now creates a new camera and null. In previous versions, it would only create them once. This makes Quick the perfect button to kickstart a project in seconds without worrying about the technical setup. Setup button, the foundation of any 3D animation. The setup button remains your starting point for any 3D animation. But in V2.1, it's become smarter and more contextual. If you click setup without selecting any layers, the plugin creates a new camera and control null, but it leaves your layers untouched. This is an important safeguard against accidental changes. If you select layers first, for example, five text layers, then click setup, a camera and null are created. The selected layers are switched to 3D mode and motion blur is applied. Important detail, setup does not automatically change the Z position of your layers. They all remain at Z equals zero, giving you complete control over depth. Another major improvement, you can now click setup multiple times to create several camera setups. Each click generates a new camera null pair with motion blur already enabled. Perfect for building complex multi-camera scenes. The new match button replaces the old parenting function and completely changes how you position your camera. Let's say you've created a 3D setup and you want the animation to start by focusing on a specific layer. Instead of manually moving the camera, just select the target layer and click match. The camera instantly repositions itself to perfectly frame that layer. With two views mode enabled in After Effects, you can clearly see this in action. Select another layer, click match again, and the camera automatically centers on it. It's like having a virtual cameraman that immediately understands where you want the audience's attention to go. Reset, a clean slate. The reset button has also been improved. One click resets your entire 3D setup, letting you start fresh if you're not happy with your current animation. Super useful when you're experimenting creatively. Advanced spatial controls. The positioning sliders have been redesigned for more intuitive control. On the Z axis, you can now easily distribute layers in depth to create parallax effects. Remember, always select the layers you want to affect. Without selection, the sliders won't apply. With X and Y sliders, you can align layers perfectly on a line and adjust spacing in real time creating geometric layouts in seconds. Animation, smoother, more cinematic. The animation tab has received major upgrades. The default rotation angle has increased from 30 degrees to 45 degrees for more dramatic cinematic moves. You can adjust up to 360 degrees for full creative control. To animate, select the control null not the camera. Click the directional buttons. For example, a left arrow instantly generates a smooth pan left animation with pre-smooth keyframes at 80% influence. No need to tweak curves manually. Types of movements available. Pan. Rotate on vertical axis. Tilt. Rotate on horizontal axis. Roll. Spin the camera. 
Traveling, linear movement in space. Each arrow equals one direction. Focus, refined depth of field. The focus system has been completely recalibrated. Previously, the slider was overly sensitive. Tiny adjustments produced extreme blur. In V2.1, control is gradual and natural. As you move the slider, layers blur progressively with distance. Background elements blur more strongly than foreground ones, giving you a cinematic depth of field effect. The opacity function automatically adjusts transparency based on distance from the camera. Closer layers stay visible. Farther layers fade away. This is also called a depth fade, a simple but powerful way to add depth and guide the viewer's eye. Strong values equals atmospheric fog, mystery effect. Lower values equals subtle depth with clarity. The reverse button flips the logic. Foreground fades out, background stays visible. The target function has been completely reworked. Select the layer, click target. The camera focuses on it and the playhead advances by five frames. Select another layer, click target again, new keyframe plus another five frame advance. In just a few clicks, you can build a fluid sequence where the camera moves from one element to another without manually moving the playhead. Before this process could take minutes, now it happens almost in real time. A common issue in 3D animation is unwanted pauses between keyframes, making motion look choppy. In version 2.1, overlap keyframes has been massively improved. Select your control null, click overlap. The plugin automatically parents nulls and shifts keyframes subtly to create overlapping motion. Result, the camera never fully stops, delivering constant, cinematic movement. It's like having multiple virtual cameras sharing the work. Note, once applied, opacity won't work properly since the plugin no longer knows which null to reference. So, always use overlap at the end of your workflow. The speed function is your alternative for more complex scenarios, especially when layers have random rotations or unusual orientations. For example, apply random mode for varied rotations. Create a quick sequence with target. In this setup, overlap might produce unpredictable results. Instead, select your null, set the slider to 10, the sweet spot, Click Apply Speed, the plugin automatically recalculates speed curves, removes duplicate keyframes, and produces an ultra-smooth animation, perfect for dynamic, irregular scenes. If you already own the plugin, go to your purchase platform and download this update for free. If you're new to Camera 3D Toolkit Pro, this is the best time to grab it with the current 40% discount. Click the first link in the description, or simply scan the QR code on screen. In this video, I didn't cover every single feature of the plugin that's already explained in other tutorials on this channel. Here, I focused only on the improvements in version 2.1. I'm also preparing a full tutorial series where every function will be broken down with practical examples and complete projects. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. And if you have any specific questions, drop them in the comments. I reply to everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.